Alright, folks, we're back with Castlevania. I remain the Mysterious JG, and I'm still not convinced this was a good idea to try to help you this game. <laughs> Wow, I'm just letting lots of, uh, candle stuff get missed. No interest in jumping up to collect candle items while on those rafts. This is a great way to get killed. You are a bastard. <laughs> up something Finlay said, and something that Bob has actually said in his hilarious Finlay impression. I'm so close to getting killed so many times during that whole sequence. Well, now I've got points or something? I don't know what happened there. I started glowing all of a sudden. Is there something hidden going on over here? No. Just a way to waste hearts. I don't have that many. Oh, it's difficult to collect hearts down there. I had this kind of recollection from days long past of, yes, punch bags. This part isn't too bad because you can hit them as they land. You just have to hit them before they can start hopping around. With the long whip, this is doable. With the short whip, this is much harder. And of course, when they drop two at a time like that, as a pain. It's possible to jump up and hit those birds, too, but for the lower flying ones. By and large, you just want it. They become a great source of hearts. Aha! Just ignored you, Bone Dragon. I'll be fighting some of them later. Like, right now, I believe. In this hallway, people fight some. Damn it! Shouldn't have gotten that. There's a lot of luck involved in fighting these guys, because they can fire from all different angles. But they're worth a bunch of hearts. Better weapon than a knife would be very good right now. Oh, I was really hoping that would be a food rather than a large heart. already? Yeah, it is. And I'm dead. Okay, so what kind of weapon can we possibly get out of all this horse hockey? Points? Getting to that guy with full health would make a huge difference, but I don't know how likely that is with these bone dragons to deal with. They do a lot of damage. Especially if you just get in your, their face like this, which is probably not the best way to fight these guys. Yeah, I need to get to them with more than one head. <laughs> this is like the toughest, toughest stage I remember being able to beat back in the day, really. It's a minor miracle if you get past the next stage, which is Grim Reaper. And then, um, Dracula stage, I don't think I ever beat that on the NES without using emulations. 
save states. And of course, I'm using an, emu an emulator and could use save states, but I've been avoiding it up to this point. I think it would be nice to have this weapon against the boss. But there was no meat that I found anywhere in this stage, so it doesn't seem likely like I'm going to get through and have any hit points left. Unless there's meat hidden up here somewhere. This would be a little early in the stage for it to be, too. This is where it gets ugly. Once you let them land, they swarm you. Okay, there's a random factor to this. If they come in two different directions, it gets a lot harder. Now, copious use of holy water might be able to get past the... Ah, shouldn't have, shouldn't have stopped there. I think it might be able to get past the bone dragons with less loss of life. I keep getting to the final boss this area, which is Igor and Frankenstein, with only one hit. Because they do four things of damage with each hit. Yeah. Ooh, double shot, too. This is shaping up pretty good. Shot, plenty of hearts. Need to get someplace above Frankenstein. Like right here. Just melt their asses before they can even get up and attack. Oh yeah, boy! Nicely done, JG. Yeah, that actually worked out better than I thought it would. The, um, getting them to drop those... I don't know exactly how it works when they drop the doubles and triples. Even when I picked up the holy water, I was like, I'll never last long enough to be able to use this against the boss. No, that made all the freaking difference. Now it's time to the Grim Reaper stage. And I get to keep my... Oh, man, you know, it's cheating, but... If we get into really dire straits, Lustre Romeo on the streets of Serenade, Lena Below with Lust on Lady. I can load state and I'll start out with like triple shot holy water. That'd be awesome. But uh, let's try to do this fair and square. And I just was punished for my save stating by uh, grabbing a hold of the analog stick and then losing all of my freaking health while I tried to realize, oh shit, the analog stick doesn't work. That was a pretty hefty penalty I just paid there. Hey, you jumped off screen. And this music, which I totally love. Rocking out. Scary Grim Reaper music. And, uh, yeah. Totally lost all my freaking health. So much for being able to use these awesome weapons. I think there is meat in this stage somewhere, but I mean, the odds are going to get there. Hard zero! Oh, way to start a stage. Oh, that sucked. This stage, what you really need to get is, uh, I guess, 
shot hole. Triple shot holy water is definitely a way I've killed the Grim Reaper before in this game. But I think the best, easiest way to do it with him is boomerangs or axes. But I definitely at one point got him cornered. He flies around the screen, but I got him cornered so that he was near a platform where the holy water could land and hit him. Killed him that way, it's pretty awesome. Nope. Oh, did that to me before, folks. Thought I was gonna get to take advantage of uh, scrolling, but he was like, nope, just mess with you, buddy. How many bones do these guys have just throw around? Yeah, I think everything now hits you for four damage. I mean, you have that huge standard meter, but really, it's four blocks, despite its appearance. Everything hits you for four blocks of damage now. Uh, the beginning of the game, everything hit you for two blocks. Which is why the game suddenly seems so much harder. The uh, levels are laid out in a way that makes them a little bit harder, but the big thing is that now everything hits you for freaking twice as much damage. Red skull. Come back to life, red skull. There's a little of the clown in all of us. Good night and God bless. I guess you're supposed to use an axe to get some of those powers. I'm assuming that there's something better in them than just a single heart, because otherwise... There's some meat. That's good. I love the background here. best power-up that you can find. So, it looks like even though I don't get to have my triple shot, uh, Holy Water, it's still possible to get through this and have have Holy Water, possibly upgrade triple shot before it's over. And these guys throw axes. I think they can only throw them high in this game. No. Okay, just prove me wrong if you run low. And that's basically the big challenge with them. They, they will be an enemy that shows up and Castlevania series really hasn't added that many new enemies to its repertoire, but it had some pretty cool enemies in this first game. Now he's gonna be a douchebag, he's gonna stay back, and not let me take advantage of the strategy, which is to get to a position where... I guess they just drop axes sometimes. He needs to get to die. But yeah, that climbing up the stairs to the point where you your head is not exposed to the high ones and just whipping him if you destroy the low ones if he fires them. That's like a strategy that continues to work in subsequent class of Castlevania games, but are you just gonna Okay, good, you're gonna scroll off screen. You're not scroll. I thought he was just gonna hang around at the top of the stairs and not let me go up. I love the background here. just for using against bosses anymore. Beautiful. This Axe Knight is going to continue to be a problem, though. say so myself. I'm quite pleased with how that turned out. Uh, there might be a hit power up down there, but I feel like it's a needless risk. Uh, it. Unless it was food, it wasn't going to be worth it. This is still okay. If I don't run out of time here, I can get up to the Grim Reaper with a lot of health. Keep 
throwing high. There we go. Starting to worry about time now. I've actually had a long run going here. I was also worried a little bit about, um... Well, mostly time, although I don't know how long the stage is, how much more I gotta do before I get to, uh, old Grim. Grim Grams. a pretty good trade, but I got triple shot. And you don't get to retain triple shot when you switch weapons. Here's the ideal place for this trick. No point climbing all the way up the stairs. Take them out from where you're safe. Time is starting to run out now, though. And this is... frustrating thing about this game, they lay the levels out in such a way that you almost have to lose a line. Oh, beautiful! Now there's a good chance I'll get to the Grim Reaper with full health. Frustrating combination of enemies. I have to be really careful now that I don't get a weapon that I don't want. Shit. I feel like I'm pretty close to the end here. Although I kind of vaguely remember you approach the Grim Reaper from the other direction. This looks like a boss room. Yeah, it is. So I need to wait for him to get... Hopefully. I was really hoping that he would get to an area where I could throw lots of holy water at him. And not die, which I just did. Okay, I have to double shot, but I don't have a freaking weapon. Thank you, game. thinking maybe I was just really lucky when I killed him with uh, Holy Water a long time ago, because it really didn't seem like a good weapon for use against him there. Much better off with Boomerang, which I believe you can get here. But you don't get a double shot of it. That last room was a nightmare, and I'm about to die. Must have been uh, something I randomly got from a fireball, maybe? I have definitely beaten the Grim Reaper back in the day on the old 8-bit when we rented this. Because um, we never owned this one. We owned Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest, and Castlevania 3. Curse, whatever the heck the game was actually called. But this is the toughest stage I ever actually beat for reels. Any other, uh... Oh, no, wait a minute, I feel like maybe... I have this vague recollection that, uh... Trotted this game out once for, like, St. Patrick's Day. Because we used to be allowed to break our Lenten stuff on St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day, so maybe I did beat it more than once. At any rate, um, getting kind of frustrated here. This game is a lot shorter than some of the other Castlevania games I could be playing, but it's really freaking hard in parts. And, uh, I'm gonna just fess up right now. One of the reasons I'm playing I mentioned that, oh, I like Bobo's Let's Play of Castlevania Circle the Moon, and I uh, felt like I should do something scary, even though it's too late for Halloween specials. Other people did Halloween specials. Basically, I also need something. I've, I've hit a point 
I'm in Afghanistan. I got a lot of stuff I want to LP when I get back. But I kind of needed to LP something because, um, without going into the details for why, work is dried up. And it's dried up in a way that's very frustrating. Because I feel like I should be finishing up some assignments and doing some stuff that I think would be a benefit to the old taxpayer, but uh, administrative things have come up, and some of this is personal administrative type of crap, and personalities that I don't really have a lot of respect for in the office, and long story that I shouldn't be telling in an LP short anyway, I've kind of been pretty idle uh, here near the end of my tour in Afghanistan. Don't have much time left, literally got like two weeks left at this point. Before I'm heading back. But, uh, I had some time, and I wanted to LP. So I figured if I started doing Castlevania 3 on a whim, I wouldn't be able to finish it before I went back to Konus, and suddenly, I'm trying to decide, do I want to start LPing the entire Metal Gear Solid series, or do I want to start LPing the entire Mass Effect series? Two different series I want to do, both of which are going to take a long time. Get over here, you pussy. Probably misquoting the theme to the So what would this be? That would be a double shot. I believe just by... Even without... Uh, hitting the icon itself, I cut it off from appearing. So I was just going to figure out what it was. Ah, this is where the holy water would have been handy. screen that can kill me. It's not even funny. I didn't even realize I was running into... Oh, something only hit me for two instead of, like, three. That's interesting. Oh, not a good time to miss the jump, JG. <laughs> This life. Are you just kill me? Try again here. What? Couldn't hit the axe. Oh, they're both gone now. Lost half of my health on the first two guys. Yeah, the, uh, looks like the leather whip doesn't actually hit the axis. I don't know if it has a smaller hit ra uh, radius, or it just takes more than one hit or something, but wow. You're really hosed against these guys without the chain whip. Fuck it. I just... Start staying over. Whatever I gotta do, man. Actor, it doesn't really help me that much to have triple shot and holy water. I'm just frustrated. Yeah, really frustrated. Like I'm gonna load 
again. This is a really stupid way to load state, but hey, I'm at the beginning of the frickin' area. Mostly it's just about... ...not going through and reacquiring... ...a decent whip. Alright, so this is cheating, but it's very moderate cheating. I think at this point, if I can't get past the first damn screen without getting hit... This is hard, but man, like Castlevania 3 was harder. Castlevania 2 was pretty easy, except that you never knew. Well, it was hard without hints because you never knew what the hell you're supposed to be doing. But uh, the gameplay action sequences are easier. I say I want to get past the first screen without taking a hit. This is insane. Okay, the wheels are starting to come off of my Castlevania mobile. My scary Beetlejuice car. Doomy. Doomy is the name of the car, folks. I'm not saying anything improper. That's it. Come to death. <laughs> that sounded a lot weirder than I meant to. Get a one up, I got a one up. Now I really feel like a big cheater because I restored and got enough points for a one up. And this is one of those places where an axe would be really handy. Get past that first screen, this screen ain't too bad. I will try to hold on to that triple shot, holy water. Watch me immediately lose it. What are you about? Well, I guess they start off down sometimes? Ooh, that was close. Now I got the food. I guess I should have. If I'd remembered that there was food here, I probably wouldn't have been as worried about. Scratch my head. Worried about um, not getting hit even once in that first area, but. Okay, he's gone. He's gone. Oh. Right. What I gotta hit him before he can flee. Stop coming back! You're not coming back, Jim! Just go! <laughs> Just gonna keep grooving out over there forever. Keep on rocking. Peace. Keep on rocking. Peace, Ben Murphy. Yeah, that is a joke. Okay. This is like a... I keep doing that! Well, it doesn't matter now. I've already got triple shot. Now I'm gonna have trouble with... If I get... Get over... Ooh, this is really effective against them, too. But if I get far enough over there that I'm climbing the stairs, I can't use this anymore. Because you press up and weapon to do uh, a weapon thing. Yeah, you just get a single heart. I guess, um... That's because I already had, uh, enough, or I already had the triple force thing. So I think just, uh, having touched it before would not be enough to, uh, prevent me from getting, uh... Getting the, uh... Hitting the top one and, uh, clearing away the top square and not the bottom square probably wouldn't have prevented me from getting the power-up before. That's what I'm trying to say, but I can't talk. Uh, my brain's not working properly. That last room before the Grim Reaper is a real killer. So I don't think.
think I can get through 66 hearts against this boss, so I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna be shy about using them here. Damn, I was afraid of that! If they would get an animation of moving forward before I'd have a chance to hit them again. I didn't really know what else to do other than just, like, duck out of the way really early. Food? Awesome. Oh, this is such a cheating move. But we're at the end of the video, and I really... We're at 30 minutes, and I really want to end this thing. You got infinite continues. I would have gotten here eventually, not necessarily using the triple shot um, holy water, but I went ahead and saved state. Because this is the last room before the Grim Reaper. This is where it all goes to hell. And I got half of my health. The screen is going to be completely full of projectiles in a minute. This might be the not the best weapon to have against the Grim Reaper anyway. How is that noise? I got a dagger. What the hell, KG? Do not get a dagger here. I want to try to get to this guy with full strength. This room, though, it's a nightmare. I mean, look at it. Medusa heads and axe guys. Now, admittedly, there's only two of the axe guys, but you don't need that many of those axe guys to make the game really hard. When you don't have the freedom to, like, move where you need to against them. Okay, now I'm really just flat out cheating. Save state. Okay. Save and state here. <laughs> hey, look at that. I mean, death projectiles just appeared where I was. That didn't even hurt him. This might be the worst possible weapon to use against him. go here. Not holy water. I don't know where you can start out. It's even remotely safe. But this is the... I kind of need to catch him when he's in a spot like that. Just... JG throwing away all of my credibility here. I need him. Damn it. That was it. That was the best chance I was going to get. I need to catch him down there where the flames can hit him. And they couldn't hit him there anyway, so what the hell. I think I just moved the damn emulator so it's no longer squared up in my recording window. It's like, you're going to kill Grim Reaper with holy water? Good joke. Ah, that would have been it. That's where I needed him. I 
I haven't even got him down to halfway, have I? All this work to save a slot with me with the triple shot weapon, and it's like the worst possible weapon to use against me. Bouncing up before I can take advantage when he lands. Thought I had something going there for a second. Stuff while I was. He's just kind of like, oh, you're gonna throw holy water on me first. I'm gonna stand here and watch you and hit you in the face. Not even with a sickle or a scythe. Just fly right up at you and smack you across the face. The screen is so completely full of his projectiles. They don't freaking disappear when. You just dodge them, and they'll, yeah, you gotta destroy them, or they'll just hang around all day. Why are those going through him? They should have been, like, breaking on his face and burning his shit. Yeah. Oh, all credibility pissed away. If I beat the Grim Reaper now, have I really, truly won this battle at all in this many save states? There's, that's what I need, though. I need him down there in the corner like that. Or like he is now, except when I can't get to him. I just jump, it's something, again, you jump, there's nothing there, it forms in the air as you are there. This battle's freaking out. Awesome. Now, here I go. This is what I've been trying to do all along. I'm a big stinky cheater, and I apologize. <laughs> There you have it, folks. How do you beat the Grim Reaper? You cheat like a mofo. Much better way to actually defeat this guy fair and square is to use the boomerang. Uh, if you can get a double shot boomerang, you're in much better shape. All you really do when you got the boomerang is you just throw it as often as you can, and you just try to dodge the damn sickles' uh, scythes. Uh, they're flying around. Um, but he's a really tough boss. I kind of feel like maybe I should save on a separate slot in case I want to go back and beat him in a more fair way later, but... I don't really think I'm ever going to do that. I'd just, just like to have the option. So for right now, we're going to end the video with the cheapest victory ever over the Grim Reaper. All that's left in this the final stage and Dracula himself. Uh, if I can't beat the Grim Reaper without copious amounts of cheating, I've got no prayer against Dracula. The The true story here, folks, is that I could win this thing fair and square. It would just take me lots and lots of tries, and it would get really tiresome to watch. So... I decided to try to spare you of some of it. Uh, if I ever play Castlevania 3, I'll try to play a little bit more fair and square. <sighs> Although that's a game too, man, it gets frustratingly difficult. It's just it's ex it plays very similar to this game, but it's much longer. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's gonna be it for right now. Spooky Castlevania. We've defeated the Grim Reaper. We'll never see him again. We defeated Frankenstein. Never see him again. Um, all we got to do now is take out Dracula, and the Castlevania series will be over. It's Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.